Double Sports Talk Worldwide with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Now, heavyweights. Let's talk about Deontay Wilder versus uh, Dominic Brazil fight May 18th. It's going to be a good one. One that I told you guys I'm worried about uh, because Dominic Brazil, that punch resistance, and he's better than two years ago. Hey, Dominic Brazil, what is he, about 20 and 1, 18 KOs? So it ain't nothing. I to encourage people to watch that Uganal fight showing and Manzur. He can take something, but he's going to bring something back. So you got to be careful with Dominic Brazil. And I don't like the fact that there's some animosity, some real beef between the guys. Right? Good thing, and I'm talking about from Wilder's perspective here. Good thing is Deontay Wilder just fought Tyson Fury. Right? And because of that, fighting Tyson Fury, just loading up on one hand the whole fight against a big old dude like Tyson Fury that have skills, you know, had him, in most people's eyes, losing the fight. Or in some, for sure. Right? Not mine. I said I'm winning a couple of first rounds and those two knockdowns. So it wasn't no problem. But a lot of people that were looking at that fight before, you know, had Tyson Fury as an underdog. So when you have them as an underdog, plus the fact that you're going for him too, everything he does is compounded. You know, here's a jab. Hey, where you jabbing? Boom, boom, boom. Bottom line is Deontay Wilder winning that fight, loading up on one hand, and luckily came out of that fight with a draw. So... You know, you're hoping he learns from that. And I've said in other videos, I think that Deontay Wilder, with his stamina that he has and the athletic ability, I think he can go do all kind of other sports. And I can't say that for all heavyweights. I think maybe Deontay Wilder can go out and dance, right, without no rhythm problem. Can't say that for all other heavyweights, right? I don't want to even go out with them, see them dancing. You know, you they, you know, you you they main buddy, and you see him go out there and dance, look like he got. You know, got some earphones on or something because he ain't really listening to what's popping off. And you got to still go have a drink with him afterwards. That's the dude you came in with. You know what I'm saying? It's your boy. You know, a lot of them, rhythm problems. All that stuff is muscle memory, right? So, you know, Deontay Wilder, I think, is an athlete. So go out there and use your stamina. You ain't got to knock everybody out. Use the fact. Use the rest of your game. Now, that's what I've been saying in the past videos, a condensed version. Now, hoping to hear him say something like that, and boom, got the wrong hat on, should be the told you hat, right? That's exactly what Deontay Wilder uh, says he's going to do against Dominic Brazil. He's going back to the basics, right? And that's good to hear. He says he's um, dissecting himself in training right now to make sure that he goes back to the basics and, and, and handles his business like a boxer should, right? Um, I think that's good news. Because that's what he can do. He's 6'7". He can jab. We've seen him do it before. And especially in the fights where he broke his hand or tore his bicep or whatever. If it was Areola or the main Stavern, we've seen him be able to jab. But in most fights, he's looking to take you out against Tyson Fury. It's ridiculous how he was loading up. But here's the thing, though, when I talk about that, too. Sometimes we don't look at Tyson Fury. Here's a guy, 209 pounds, you 260. And he's walking the up on you without even, you know, giving you some defense. Right? That's that's saying much about Tyson Fury punching power. Tyson Fury gonna have to work on that. I think Tyson Fury, because this is a 209 guy. Them, a couple of guys coming uh, to fight Tyson Fury about 250 ain't gonna be walking up on them. You know, boxers, you know, they worry about defense. You know, boxers be, you know, they walk up to you to say hello. They be like, hey, what, what's up, man? You know, they going to order some, 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 something to eat. You know, take a big man, you know, even large order of fries, cold tomatoes on that. You know what I mean? They, be, they ain't even, boxers are worried about defense if they fight somebody that they worried about what they're bringing back. Do you think Deontay Wilder walking on that, up, up, up on after Joshua like that without giving Joshua a little something? Or Joseph Parker? Or we seen Ortiz? But just walking up on Tyson Fury, Tyson Fury's going to do something about that. Now, Tyson Fury's skilled in 6'9", which gives him, you know, some advantages. But when somebody ain't going to fear your punching power whatsoever, sooner or later you're going to get caught because they're just going to be running up on it. I see anybody 250 pounds going to put their hands up and run up on it. Watch what I tell you. So we're going, Tyson Fury is going to have to plant his feet and get a couple of people up out of there in the long run. See what I watch what I tell you. But back to the point. Deontay Wilder against Dominic Brazil, right? Going in the fight, understanding 
that you're going to have to use your other attributes and not just load up on one hand like that. I think he's learned from it, and I'm glad to hear him talking about it. Now, make sure this is clear. After saying all that, we're going back to the basics. After saying I'm going to use my other attributes and all of that stuff, he still said this. I'm still knocking him out. <laughs> I'm still knocking him out. Doesn't that sound like Deontay Wilder to you? But it's good to just hear him understand that this fight is not going to be an easy fight. I told you guys I was nervous about it. I have my reasons, right? That's the way it is. This is going to be a good one, right? So let's check it out. It's good to hear Deontay Wilder working on the right things in training. Dome Sports Talk, worldwide. And I'm about to hear y'all.